Relax with bricks, with bricks, with bricks. Relax with bricks, with bricks. Relax. Alpha wax. Relax, will you? Hello, Alpha wax. New book, new bag. Let's do the knoll. Another person. Righty ho. Uh, well, first things first. Uh, could, could I have you for a moment, please, uh, Felicia? Uh, thank you. Uh, if you could just uh, pull me out of the Blair hole. Uh, sorry, Dawn French. Uh, sorry, Dawn. Fr oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. This this. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Dawn French. Um, really should put up. <sighs> there we are. Right, out you come. Come on. I'm, I'm out. I'm out of the Blair hole. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've done my time. I did the crime. I did the time. Thank you. <clears throat> right then, let's, uh, let us commence with bag six, and we are now beginning um, the next um, uh, the next phase. Oh, no, sorry, the the first phase of the second part of the roller coaster. Can can you just see the? Can you see there? The top of the roller coaster is now on the other table. Uh, right, let's get to it. Uh, hello, I'm back again. I, I actually had to uh, uh, nick off then. Oh, hang on a minute. I need a bit that's still in the big box. There it is. Thank you. Uh, right then. Okay. Let's start with uh, the googly eyes and uh, someone who is not normally on the googly eyes, uh, World Renaissance, says very much to come over to the googly eyes and she says, Bonjour, hopefully you're receiving me on the googly eyes. Yes, I am receiving you on the googly eyes. Uh, she says, uh, Ninjago City was entirely my own fault. Oh, here, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, th th listen to me right now, World Renaissance. That is, I'm, I'm pretty certain there's nothing you can say to me that is going to make me feel all right deep down inside <laughs> about you dismantling the <laughs> Dago City. <laughs> says, it was my first Afol build. I mean, all right, fair enough, because... That's, that's a big build to take on uh, as a novice. I will concede that. Uh, and I really should have started with something. Uh, not quite so many fell negative pieces. <laughs> well, just few. What? What's going on here? What's going on? I've lost it. Uh, uh, not so, well, just few are. Uh, Pieces in general, to be honest. I really enjoyed the blue water tiles, don't we all? If that helps regain some semblance of normality. Well, mm, as I as I always say, if 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 you're sitting here um, 
watching this and thinking, oh, oh, I think I might want to have a little go at, at a build. Uh, I, I always say it, but the best, the very best one to start with uh, is the camper van. It's, it's small enough to get you going. The detailing in it is superb. And it's just a lovely, lovely build. Um, but yeah, I can I can understand how starting with the... Uh, can you see? I might go up a little higher. Hang on. Yes, look, that's better, isn't it? It's vastly better. Um, but yeah, going straight in with something as 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 enormous and challenging as the magnificence that is the uh, Ninjago City, uh, I will concede that uh, a novice might find it a little off with you. I will concede that. I will concede it. I will concede it. Kath Pearson, uh, as an international woman of mystery, oh, I love that we think she's a spy and she's not, she's not denying it. Feel free to recycle Joe Price's former minifigures, me. I might look like that. Ooh. Now then, hmm, let me uh, let me get the minifigure formerly known as Joanne Price. Uh, here you are. Um, all right then. So uh, let's make it official. <laughs> uh, we hereby rename. Uh, the minifigure formerly known as Joanne Price, as the minifigure known as Kath Pearson, uh, it is adjudicated. So, I mean, I know I, that's strictly me making an adjudication. Uh, Mr. Graham Triggs, can we have an official adjudication, please? Can we have an official adjudication to rename the minifigure formerly known as Joanne Price, as the minifigure formerly known as Joanne Price, now known as the minifigure uh, called Kath Pearson? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You'll be pleased to know a minifigure formerly known as Joanne Price, and uh, now the minifigure known as Kath Pearson, that you're actually standing uh, next to Sue Perkins uh, over there. Thank you. You're actually standing next to Sue Perkins. Lovely. I hope you've got lots to chat about. Um, what a naissance. I had completely forgotten I could comment over here on my Twitter break. Oh, isn't it lovely and calm? I'm also quite happy to exchange places and go in the Blair Hole. Seems nice and quiet in there. And quite relaxing. Well, I'm sorry, uh, Wild Renaissance, but only uh, Mr Graham Triggs, whose authority we must respect at all times, uh, has the authority uh, to put someone into uh, the Blair Hole. Uh, so that's how that works. Uh, Gary Blair... <coughs> yes! 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 He says... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Says Kennedy's in the Blair Hole. Kennedy's in the Blair Hole. Aha, suck still be you. And then Kath Pearson then shouts, Get in the hole, Kennedy. What? <laughs> Gee whiz, gang. Then Gary Blair says, Eee, that's proper vertiginous, is that? Cripes. We thought she was from Canada and then we didn't think she was from Canada and then it turned out she was from Canada. It's Jelly Gum B. Uh, now, this is the first time she's ever done this. Uh, she has uh, Gillian B has um, put a warning uh, in front of her post on the googly eyes and uh, the post uh, the, it, and it's in bold and within asterisks and uh, the warning uh, is thus prepare yourself the warning is thus it says warning talking about poo So here we go. Just, just um, you know, cover your ears if if you are uh, are not interested to hear Gillian B's 
uh, thoughts on poo. She says, I personally don't work with poo every day. It was just part of my tasks this week. We get every... <laughs> oh, God. We get every colour and consistency of poo in the lab from people who have been experiencing diarrhoea. <laughs> oh, tell you, poo. And we look for certain bacteria, Salmonella, Shigella, uh, E. coli, known for being cause of either food poisoning or have been acquired from drinking or coming into contact uh, with dirty water, which can contain harmful bacteria, which causes one to shit a lot. As the weather starts to get nicer and more people are barbecuing, oh no, oh no, I haven't got the end of your message. Oh no, Gillian B. Well, we'll have to have this as a part one. I'll have to, I'll, we'll have to do, we'll have to do uh, part two, uh, the Gillian B. Uh, poo saga uh, tomorrow. So part, part two of that saga will be tomorrow. Oh, Gillian B. Oh, Gillian B. Kath Person. Not to step on the prof's toes, but yes, you are correct. Lego are the world's leading tyre manufacturer, making over 700 million a year. Foo wee. Foo woo wee. Foo woo wee. Right, let's get uh, Twitter business. Twitter business. Twitter business up and running, which I haven't read. So I'm reading this for the first time. Ah, Mr. Graham Triggs. Oh, thank you, Mr. Graham Triggs. Mr. Graham Triggs, the VAR. The official referee of the Let's with Bricks. Six. Does anyone, has anyone else got hay fever? I keep getting a really snuffly nose. Not that you need to know that, of course. Really? Ooh. Proper snuffles, snuffles, a uh, groom tricks. The camera was so beautifully poised on the three times instruction whilst you slash Uncle Strawberry was rambling on whilst you remained blissfully unaware. Mm, I know, it's all, it's all Bevis's fault. Everything's Bevis's fault. Bevis, that blinking Bevis. Bevis, Bevis, mass. All right, that'll do, Emma. Stop it. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You're not. You're not muttly. Stop it. Stop it. Jump. Perry, yeah, well done on all those techniques and for remaining calm after the Times 3 incident. We've all been caught out by that and it's very annoying. Ooh. Yes. Uh, Stan's mum, for me, there are two distinct Emma Kennedys. Oh no, where's this going? The first is the rather excellent author of superb books, such as The Things We Left Unsaid. Oh my goodness, thank, thank you. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's, uh, please, you embarrass me. Stop. <laughs> Whilst the second EK is the one I yell, it's the other way up, other way up, oh God, other way up, at on my device. Mm. Uh, Bev Bratton says, randomly, I've just started that very book. Well, the audio version. Oh, I hope you enjoy it. I do. I truly hope you enjoy it. Hang on a minute, please. One, two, three. Another one there. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Look, you can't. Look, we're already. You can't even see what I'm doing. I'm having to pull back here. This is how big it is. It's enormous. It's vast. The roller coaster is huge. La 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 la. Oh, look, we're pushing that over there now. Here we go. Look, this is rather super, isn't it? Uh, Stan's mum, it's great. 
This is referring to my book. <laughs> uh, uh, resonated with me. Uh, I lost my parents two years ago in quick succession. Oh, that's horrible. They had been married since age 21 and I found a letter from an RAF man to my mum that raised loads of questions. <gasps> oh, wow. Uh, really good book. I devoured it. So the, the book is about secrets that, that um, have never been told. Hence uh, that reference, Stan's mum. Gosh, Stan's mum, because I slightly want to ask you loads about that now. Crumbs. I mean, feel free to share, but, uh, you know, only if you want to. Uh, Joe Price, the golden goose, the golden goose. She is the golden goose. She must be on a pedestal with Pandora, the plate of pleasure, and her big boobs. It's got Joe Price, the golden goose, the golden goose. I'm a golden goose, a golden goose. Oh, that might have to become a regular feature. Uh, she says, don't worry about me. I have built-in airbags. Oh, that's super. Uh, Kath Pearson, next poll. How many times does Emma... <laughs> how many times has Emma caused you to exclaim out loud, for the love of God, woman, or any other exclamation of display? on a daily basis. <laughs> oh, dismay, sorry. Dismay. Oh, someone else makes mistakes, do they, Kath Pearson? <laughs> oh, someone else makes mistakes, do they, Kath Pearson? <laughs> Bevis Masson! Bevis Masson, the sensei, Uncle Strawberry, Bevis the mutter of the moaning mini, uh, the Lego whisper. Uh, he says, it has got to the point where any slightly odd suggestions, e.g. flowering your pages, makes me think it's either a lead-in to a filthy joke or someone trying to trick you into saying squeaky but Oh no. I can't actually believe it. I can't actually believe it. Thank you, Bevis. He took your real good because you are really stupid. Shush up, you Don French. Be quiet. I haven't forgotten about the film with you and sorry Sigourney Weaver. No. Yes. Oh, yes, you will get top billing. <laughs> yes, and you'll get the best lines. <laughs> yeah, you'll get a bigger trailer, yeah. <laughs> yes, you will have a uh, a plate of squeaky brakes uh, uh, put in Sigo Sorry Sigourney Weaver's trailer, yes. <laughs> no, she doesn't know what they are. <laughs> no, I don't know what they are either. <laughs> Yes, go on, off you go, back back to your back to your little spot. No, shush. No. 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 No, you can't go on the pedestal. No, you're not a golden goose. Be quiet. Be quiet, Dawn French, be quiet. Absolutely no controlling her. <sighs> she's out of control. It's because she's got a BAFTA. Has she got a BAFTA? I'm sure she has got a BAFTA. I'm sure she's got loads of BAFTAs. Honestly. Honestly, these celebrities. What to do with them? Really? Uh, Bevis mustn't... Oh, Bev I mean, Bevis gets a... Bevis gets a clap because he, he got me good. Can you actually believe that I'm this gullible? Can, can you act? Yeah, just nobody answer that. Thank you. No, nobody answer it. Thank you. No, I don't want anyone answering that question. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Uh, Bevis Musson, uh, how can you have forgotten what Gillian B does for a job again? Uh, I mean, it's not like I have to remember about a million and one things here. Uh, we have had many discussions about this, uh, uh, and then Bevis 
also says, no one wants to be pinched by the cogs. No, no one wants that. But he asks, have you ever actually heard what a snake sounds like? Because they really don't sound like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I mean, I wasn't, I, I, I wasn't going to tell you this, but um, I have a, an inner ear problem, uh, Bevis, uh, which means that I, I can hear frequencies that a lot of humans uh, are unable to hear. And um, I can, uh, one of the side effects is, is that I can hear uh, snakes and they sound uh, not unlike um, Sid James. <coughs> it's sort of like that. What do you mean you're talking nonsense, Emma? I don't know what, I don't know what you're talking about. Shush, shush. Just absolutely shush. Um, he says, uh, the professor could tell you about the printed minifig faces and when they first were anything other than that smiley face. Uh, and then uh, in asterisks, because no one has ever told you about that before and have you ask about it again two episodes later. Oh, someone's in a grump. <laughs> Somebody's in a grumper, somebody's having a grump, and his name is Bevis Peppers Musson, who is infuriated that I keep forgetting that he keeps telling me about minifigures. Well, sorry, Bevis. Sorry, Bevis. Um, he asks me, are you very bad at spot the difference in puzzle books? Um, um, I tell me I'm reasonably good at those, thank you. Then he says, the final bit of build being completely out of focus because the camera was focused on the coaster in the foreground was a new experience for RWB. <laughs> Listen, Bevis, we, we, now, we, know f we, we have known for a very long time that people are not coming here for the excellent camera skills. <laughs> we know this. We absolutely 100% know this. Nobody is coming here for the camera skills. No one. Absolutely nobody. Mm, hang on. Hang on a minute. Oh, okay. I worked that out. Worked it out on my own. Thank you. Thank you without any assistance. I'm loving this, aren't you? Do be do 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 be do. Oh no, something bad's happened here. That's because that's in the wrong place. Okay. Ooh, will you look at that? That's rather nice. And that's going there. Okay. All right. Oh, God, we're at such a runny nose. Uh, Professor Lago. Uh, this one is for uh, Noreen Cullen. This is the, the final results of the uh, uh, should she purchase the micro scale size Hogwarts castle. Uh, 71043. Or a number of new HP sets releases yet. In second place with 21% comes sets from the 2020 HP range. But in first place with 79% comes Hogwarts castle. Seven one oh four three. Hmm. Oh well, that's nice. I would like to make a couple of points regarding the micro scale Hogwarts Castle. Oh, this sounds like it, it might be a lecture. Ooh, ooh, this sounds like it might be a lecture. Uh, so I'm, I'm just anticipating it in case it is one. Oh, I'm feeling thrilled. Hang on a minute. What? What? Hang on. Hang on. What? No, that what? 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 Oh, I see. It's sort of that. Okay. What? 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 There? Oh, I see. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, Professor Lego. Hang on, please, Professor Lego. Hang on, please, Professor Lego. I've got a bit of hoo ha ring to do. Right, I've hoo ha of crikey how far back am i gonna have to come here right. ah, ah. 
that just fell off the table. <laughs> right, I've, I've hoo hard. I've hoo hard the hoo ha. Um, Professor Lego. Unlike almost every other HP set, this one is very much a display piece. Look at it. Wish someone would just give it to me. First released in 2018, it is likely it will be retired before any of the 2020 HP sets. That's only a guess, though. Uh, Faye, does that mean we have to be ready for a potential Black Friday deal like they did with Ninjago City? I wish I could provide anything with a reasonable certainty, but it is often hard to predict at the best of times. For example, many of the Star Wars Ultimate Collector series, you see us, are available for about two years. The slave I bucked the slave one bucked the trend. The slave one? What's that, Professor Lego? I bucked the trend and lasted four. Ideas set tend to last a year, but the certain five lasted three. Maximizing the effectiveness of your pound is for me still one of the toughest things about Lego. Trying to predict if slash when something may go on sale, as well as factoring and timing it to take advantage at all. If you wait and blink at the wrong moment, a set can go from places on sale to out of stock before you can even reach the checkout. God, that was re that that felt really dramatic, didn't it? felt really dramatic and exciting and I quite liked it. I liked it, Professor Lego. You can have a clap for that. Oh, I, I there's, there's trouble brewing here. There's trouble brewing here because I've got to get this round the right way so I can work it out. Right, so that's okay. So that's going there. And that's going there. This is going here. Um, uh, Faye, yeah, it's tricky, but sometimes it's part of the fun. Kipford Albert. Now, Kipford, I'm afraid your uh, your portrait from Albsack is still sitting on the kitchen table because someone, trying to go on, has not yet been to the post office. But it will come. It will come to you. It will come to you. And of course, just a reminder that the next portrait to be painted on Albsack. It's going to be Little Sue. Yay! Wait, wait, hang on, Little Sue. We haven't got to you yet. Uh, Kiffin Obert, I love Universal Joint Piece too. One of the, the things I hate with knockoff kits. Shh, what? Knockoff kits? Knockoff kits? You... Oh, sorry. I, I would like an adjudication. Uh, we shall have no chat of knockoff kits here. Thank you. We shall have no chat of them. Um, I I rather think that deserves a trip to the Blair Hole, uh, Mr. Graham Triggs. Um, and I would like an adjudication. I would like an adjudication uh, on this, whether Kitford has now got to go to the Blair Hole. What 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 what, what treacherous chat? Treacherous chat. Uh, is that the anyway? I hate with the knockoff kids. Shh. Is that the UJs come unassembled and they're a to put together? What's a UJ? A, what is a universal joint piece? Meh? Eh? What's a universal joint piece? Meh? Meh? Watching a mecha mechan watching a mechanism work is the true joy of technics, if you ask me. Now uh, back to Professor Lego. Says good news, Emma Kennedy. If you haven't located where the three, two times two, round bricks go yet, this may help. If you look at step one for one, you will see seven were asked for, but I believe you only used four. This alternative angle of where the three go should help. Yes, I found them, but thank you, Professor Lego. Thank you. I did notice not doubling up on the Technic 6M half beam, but happily you did eventually realise and managed to correct in place without any disassembly required. So well done. I have one minor request though. Oh, for you, Professor Lego, anything, 
anything for you, Professor Lego says. Can you push the cross axle five M with and stop fully in place? I I did it. I did it. I did it for you. I did it for you. It's it's over. It's over. It's over there. It's over there. But I did it for you. I did it. I did it for you, for you, for you, for you, for you. Um, Tanya now dreaded to 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 to. Uh, says, I'm cracking up at you, kindly explaining the difference on the actual piece. Now you've spotted the glaringly obvious difference we've been screaming about <laughs> for the past five minutes. It's relieved uh, the, the build-up of tension, to be fair. It's been agony. Oh, scrub down, scrub down. Here she comes. It's Jackie Swan. Um, what? Oh, no. Something terrible's happened here. That's because this is all wrong. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. Right, hang on. Oh no, that can stay there. I needed that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my panic. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Um, hang on, Jackie Swan. Let me just let me just get this right. Yes. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that. And that, oh, this is looking lovely, isn't it? Um, Jackie Swan, uh, uh, times three, what? Uh, pauses video to get large glass of something cold and sparkling. Honestly, I'm not finding this bit at all relaxing. <laughs> Tanya now dresses this as clenched and screaming. Faye, oh, today was a stressful build. So many techniques, but very well done. And just think of the glorious moving part it will be. Uh, Bev also adds, relax with bricks. E everyone found the whole thing entirely. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame you. Imagine how I felt trying to build the blinking thing. Right, hang on. Hang on. Oh, I hope I get this right. Well, look, look at me fast approaching Golden Goose Joanne Price. Excuse me, excuse me, Joanne Price, excuse me, excuse me. Um, Katie Hall, uh, bring, 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 hello, hello, relax with bricks, hello, hello. Oh, yes, hello, Um, it's me, uh, Katie Hall. Oh, hello, Katie, hello, Katie Hall. Hello, hello, Katie Hall, have you, have you uh, are you, are, are you phoning, um, is everything, is everything fine? Uh, with, with with you um no i have a uh, a small complaint um could it be possible to pull the camera back a bit panning to the coaster was uh making my eyes cross yes uh, there were there were some complaints about, about this some valid complaints um ab about this so uh, you know a polls a polls a full whack a polls ooh nice bit coming up right now um, and then she has truly a relaxing build today, dear. But I totally lost it at Hold Me, Affa Wax, Hold Me. Mm. Little Sue. As she's called Little Sue. She's little as she's called Sue. Is Little Sue. Hello. It's me. Little Sue. Hello, Little Sue. What can we do for you today? Oh, I just wanted to say, well done, Emma, for completing all those techniques successfully amazing oh th thanks little sue are you looking forward to your portrait being painted on elbsack i can't i can't wait for it when you're gonna do it because i'm really over excited about it and um I, I, I like i'm gonna tell all my friends and it's gonna be really super and uh, i'm gonna and i'm gonna put it in a great big frame and hang it in my toilet like you told us to and uh, it's going to be really exciting, if, even if it's probably going to have absolutely no recognisable resemblance to me in any shape or form. Mm. 
Well, I'll pr I, I might do it this weekend, little Sue. Um, if I, I probably will, it, it might be a, it might be Saturday or Sunday, but I have got the uh, the uh, the film uh, with Dawn French and uh, sorry Sigourney Weaver uh, to make. Um, so it, it it I think at the very latest it will be Monday, little Sue. That that's my feeling. That's my. F By the way, can everyone just look at how absolutely vast this is? It feels a bit bigger than the first one to be honest what on earth is going on here uh rosie lee i'm still on the fence regarding the love of technics i'm always intrigued by how things work as a child i took my etch sketch apart to see how it worked silvery powder went everywhere um Kath Pearson, i really love technics the me the mechanics of the sets are just brilliant we had a whole city when i was young with the train my dad was thrilled when i moved on to technics as he is an engineer hmm uh, Rosalie says, well done for all the techniques in today's build. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. But then, of course, she says, but how did you miss the same part out? Not once, but twice, but on all three. <laughs> it's a toucan. I was really hoping she would have realised whilst making the second and third. But I suppose, having erroneously believed one had been built successfully... The brain helps hide the error and is simply replaying the recent actions to reduce cognitive load. I think that will sound plausible if when reading you do so, using the Professor Lego voice. What, what do you mean, using the Professor Lego voice? This is exactly how, how you talk, Miss Professor Lego. I'm not making this up. It's, it's, it's like you suggest I'm making these accents up. What? What's, what's an outrageous, what's an outrageous suggestion? <coughs> uh, Rosie Lee says, uh, I think many of us read Afflewack tweets in their RW, formerly L, B voice. I know I do. Oh, Charlie Chops, she fights crime. She fights crime with the hair on her face. They don't do it exclusively, they're very much a team. It's Charlie Chops and her fighting crime hair. Uh, whispers, I like Technics. In fact, I love Technics. Out and proud. And that finishes club business. Now, I... Uh do a shorter build oh hang on a minute oh i see i have to do a slightly shorter build today because um i'm on duty it's a friday of course i'm on duty at the chobham response where we do not fight crime but we certainly arrange for uh shopping to be done and prescriptions to be picked up and food parcels to be delivered do 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 so i can't be in here for long do 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 fighting crime with her face hair do 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 right here we go oh look isn't that lovely i'm very much enjoying that now hang on I've missed off some things here. So that needs to go there. Yes. That's on. Oh. Oh. Oh no, look, it's brown. I hate brown. I absolutely loathe it. Right, we're in this corner over here. So. Right. Where do they go? That way, right? Not entirely sure those ones are going the right way, but. We'll probably find out when we get to it, won't we? As ever. Oh, very nice. 
right. Going there. How am I doing for time now? Yeah. Oh no, this has gone very wrong. Oh no, this has gone horribly wrong. Oh, I know why. Oh, let's get out the doodah. Brick separator. Oh no. Ah! Oh no, it's, it's gone over, it's gone over. It's gone over, it's gone over, it's gone over the, 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 the containers. Oh Lord, it's gone over. Hold on, please. Aton, aton, microphone down. It's actually gone over. Come on, Felicia, I'm going to need you. Come on, Felicia. Come on, Felicia. Let's get it back. Come on. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Thank goodness for Felicia. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Felicia. Felicia, sorry. Sorry, sorry, Felicia. Sorry, Felicia. Uh, right. So now that goes... Oh, Georgie Gobbon's here. Hello, Georgie Gobbon. Not my name. <laughs> You do it. Oh, you're getting some. Just check the size of my trainer. Oh, you're getting new trainers. Well, I'm jealous of you. Uh, okay, I'll just let you in on what's happened here. Georgie Gobbon got me some absolutely fabulous new trainers, and I put them on, and she was so jealous of them that she's now getting her own. Why are you whispering? Uh, I'm talking to the Afflewax. It's usually so loud I can hear you in the garden. Oh, rude. <laughs> I'm so what? rude. Absolutely rude. Thank you, thank you. Goodbye, Georgie Gobbon. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Rude. Just rudeness. Do, 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 do. I didn't think she'd last long. She, The minute she saw them on my feet, she wanted them for herself. But of course, she's got much bigger feet than I am because she's as tall as a tree. I'm sort of as tall as a small, dirty sh shrub. That's where I, I put myself. Oh, look, this is a good place to finish for today. Are you ready? New piece. <whistles> oh, will you look at that? It's like a golden nugget. Anyway, it's going in there. It's obviously a fountain of sorts. Um, hang on, let me just have a little, a little peek. Yes, I think that's where we're going to have to stop today. Yep. All right. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Hurrah.